really understand that. The public has been sold since 1913, since day one, since the Federal Reserve was brought into uh, fruition, in, you know, the day it was born. They've been told that it's the Federal Reserve. It's no more federal than Federal Express, as has been said so many times by others. And imagine a institution like that, that has the power to print money out of thin air and give it to their buddies. That's what they've been doing, and people are finally catching on. So let me play the soundbite from John Titus. Here okay, is. thank you. Here's how it works. The Fed prints up $1.7 trillion. It pays the banks $1.7 trillion in exchange for their mortgage-backed securities. Okay, so now you have $1.7 trillion in the hands of the banks. The banks then turn around and take that $1.7 trillion and they park it, they, they lend it back to the Federal Reserve, which in turn pays interest of a quarter percent to the banks. And so that's that's the figure you see on the liability side. You see a liability of $1.7 trillion on the Fed's balance sheet, representing the $1.7 trillion that the banks, which got the $1.7 trillion from the Fed, lent back to the Fed. And now the Fed owes the bank back $1.7 trillion. On the asset side of the balance sheet, you see $1.7 trillion in mortgage-backed securities. But you can see the problem there, because the mortgage-backed securities, as we just saw, are worthless. They're, they're garbage. Okay. So, could you hear that okay? Yes, we could actually hear that great. That's astounding. Okay, great. Here's, here's why that needed to be played, and I know that's probably one of the more complicated sound bites I could have chosen for you. What's important for people to understand is before the collapse, uh, right before the collapse back in 2008, before the collapse became so public, and Hank Paulson went in front of Congress and said, we need $700 billion, the banks need a bailout, or the whole economy is coming down, which essentially was him saying, give us $700 billion or we're going to take the whole economy down. Uh, before that happened, Merrill Lynch, I believe it was Merrill Lynch, if memory serves, 